Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my January favorites and flops per se. I don't really know what I'm going to call this yet, but I'm going to be talking about my favorite products of the month and then I'm also going to be mentioning a couple products that didn't work out for me. I have a couple that came to mind immediately, so if you want to learn what I've been loving for the month of January and some products that were a little disappointing, then please keep watching. The first product is something that I've used religiously for probably six months now, and I feel like I've mentioned it once before, but I've just fallen in love with it so much and I've seen such a difference in my skin that I wanted to mention it to you guys again. This is the Sunday Riley Good Jeans. This is an amazing skincare item. I found that using less products is better for my sensitive skin. So just finding the couple products that really, really make a difference and sticking to those. I do love masks a lot, which I will talk about my favorite masks. I was thinking about doing a video all about my favorite mask, but this is a product that brightens, exfoliates, plumps lines. You can apply this morning and night or just night. I can use it under makeup, which is what I love, but I typically just use this every other night before bed and I just smooth it on my skin. It tangles a little bit and I'm telling you, if you have pores, texture, those little tiny bumps that are like almost little pimples that aren't gonna come to a head, this will take care of it. It is amazing. I don't know if you can see, but I am down to here. I need to get a new bottle. I think I bought this when the 20% uh, off VIB sale was. So I feel like it's lasted a few months. So it's definitely pricey, but it's so worth it. I know I have recommended it to a lot of people in my real life that I have come across and they were pleasantly surprised at what it's done to their skin. So if you have texture, I'm telling you, there's nothing better. You need to try the Good Jeans by Sunday Riley. My next favorite is from a company I've worked with before and I will continue to work with them. I love this product so much. This is the Scentbird subscription service. This is basically a try it out perfume service for anyone that wants to try out really high end perfumes like Gucci, Prada, Ralph Lauren, Ascada, any of those big brands, they carry them, but you don't want to put the $80 into trying a new bottle. You can go with Scentbird. So every month they send you a perfume, it's $14.95 and you can cancel at any time. And what I love about it is they give you a pretty good size. You just twist it up. Here's the actual size of the product that you get each month. I carry these in my purse. I carry usually about two because I like to mix perfumes, but it comes with a little case like this. And then here's your actual perfume. You just pop the perfume in like this and you can spray it. And then when you put it in your purse, you want to twist it down so it doesn't get all over your purse, which is a really nice feature. I just find it's really convenient and I love trying new smells. I've tried quite a few new perfumes from them and then purchased the full size. So that's what I like about it and I also like that you can choose your perfumes which I think is really key because I don't like very heavy, uh, musky perfumes. I like more of a sweet, fruity, clean scent. So that's kind of what I go for. So you can actually go onto your account and choose what perfume you want to try. You can add it to your queue which I think is really nice so that you know what perfumes you're getting each month. So I absolutely love Scentbird. Every time they ask to work with me, I am totally down. Scentbird was nice enough to give me a 25% off code if this is your first time signing up. So I'll put it on the screen somewhere and then I'll also put it down below. If you're interested in signing up for Scentbird, I will leave the link. I think it's just a really great idea for people that just want to try perfumes and don't want to jump into $80 bottles, people like me. So definitely check out Scentbird if you haven't already and let's get into some more favorites. My next favorite is something that I really wasn't anticipating loving. I typically like mattifying primers, but I tried this one and I really fell in love with it immediately. And this is the Becca First Light uh, priming filter. So I know that they have a previous like glowy primer. And for me, it just was too texturized. I feel like it was making my pores look bigger. And I really like something that's really gonna be smooth on my texture. And I love this. I tried this, I think, twice now, and I immediately loved it. I felt like it gave me good hydration, but it also brightened my skin a little bit. And I didn't notice that it accentuated my pores, which was my biggest thing. So definitely wanted to mention this. This was sent to me, and I didn't think I was going to like it, but I actually really love it. So if you're looking for a brightening, moisturizing um, primer that's not going to make you oily, like an oil slick, definitely check out this Becca one. So next I have another primer that I didn't think I was going to like. I used it a while back and then I put it on my shelf and then I've recently got it out again. And the way I've been using this is actually not as a primer. I've been using it more of a moisturizer for me. I have combo skin so I can get very oily on my T-zone in my chin area. And when I get super oily on my chin area, I actually will get cystic acne. So that's why I try to avoid it like the plague. But I got this out and I've been using it as a moisturizer. So instead of using a moisturizer before my makeup, I've been using this. This is the Marc Jacobs Invisible Undercover. This is like a coconut primer. A lot of people say it's very similar to the Too Faced Hangover Primer, which I have both. 
this one just feels so nice on the skin and it's so thin it's just moisturizing but it's not thick uh, and kind of disrupting my makeup. I really have been loving it. I have it on today I've been wearing it the past few days and I was like wow Why didn't I ever think of that? I think before when I tried it as a primer I wasn't so into it because I didn't think it helped my pores But I've been using this and then putting a pore filling primer on top and I've been like mixing them and that's what I've been loving So definitely if you have this try it out as an actual moisturizer if you have a problem Finding moisturizers that are going to look good under your foundation. I definitely suggest trying this one out my next product I had a subscriber actually tell me about. I was asking you guys about indie brands that you think I should try or brands that I just haven't heard of. Actually, if you have any, leave them in uh, the comments below. I'm always on the hunt. You guys know if you follow me on Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, I'm going to put it right here, you guys. I'm telling you, you need to follow me on Snapchat. I haul every piece of makeup that comes in this house and you will not believe how much cool stuff that I get sent and that stuff that I buy. It would really kind of show you more of my life and you know I think a lot of times I'm getting off on a tangent here but a lot of times people say that I don't smile in my videos or that I'm a robot or I whatever I'm too serious and if you follow me on Snapchat you'll know that's totally not the case. I laugh so much with my husband. I have bulldogs that are wrinkly and fat and I just love them so much. I have little Pomeranians and I love makeup. So if you love makeup, if you love animals, if you love laughing with like stupid people like me and my husband laughing at the dumbest shit, I'm telling you, you will love to be part of my Snapchat family. So that's my little rant. I know I've done a rant before. I just feel like my Snapchat family kind of understands who I am uh, because it's just very, it's just very much me every day and I'm not you know, in a in front of lights and a camera. And I feel like when I am in front of these lights, I'm very focused on getting it done because I have a deadline or I wanna make sure I'm saying everything right or I wanna make sure I'm in, you know, focus. And all these things go into a YouTube video I think people don't realize. And when I'm on Snapchat, I'm just like on the couch. So if you wanna know more about me and you love makeup, definitely follow me on Snapchat. Anyways, one of my subscribers told me about this and they actually tagged me on Instagram. And before I could even go purchase it, the company DM'd me and was like, hey, someone tagged you, we'd love to send it to you. So this is the 7-7 Cosmetics Natural Glow Finishing Mist. I was hesitant about this because I'm very, very picky with my um, setting sprays. I like either a super glowy one that's gonna really make me glow, or I like a super mattifying one that's really gonna lock it in. So for instance, I like the uh, blue marble setting spray it has alcohol in it. well no I don't think it has alcohol in it but it's it's one of those ones it's like a stage makeup it seals your makeup in so it's very very hardcore it's not like I don't really find much help with like Urban Decay All Nighter or anything like that so I like the blue marble if I want to seal my makeup in all day and if I want like a glow glow I would use the pixie glow mist but I have fallen in love with this. This is 7-7 Cosmetics Natural Glow. I've never heard of this brand, but they're known for this, I guess. And you know what I think? I think a lot of brides would love this. I think if you're a makeup artist and you have brides, I would suggest trying this out. You know what I've been doing too when I watched a girl on YouTube? She's so freaking stunning. Her um, YouTube is It's Likely Makeup. I actually have a girl crush on her because she's so beautiful like I literally like I'm like I want to be you like she's so pretty I've been watching her videos because she's bomb at makeup and she's gorgeous everything about her I love and she actually sprays a setting spray and then she'll apply her highlighter on top and I was doing it the opposite way I would spray my brush and then apply my highlighter so instead of spraying your brush like I typically would and then dipping into your highlighter you might want to try spraying your face and while your face is still damp adding your highlight and I feel like it just gives it an extra oomph and it just looks really nice so I got that tip from her, but I've been doing that and loving it with this specific spray. I don't know what it is. I love this on the face. I wouldn't use this um, like to wet my beauty blend or anything because it's really so good that I just want to use it on my face. So definitely, definitely, if you're looking for um, a setting spray that's really going to meld your powders in and really, really going to give you kind of a nice natural glow, this is definitely it. I don't know what it is about this, but this is really like blown my mind so definitely thank you to that subscriber for telling me about this and thank you to 77 cosmetics for sending it to me that was really sweet and I'll have to check out more of their products I think they are really known for this but I think they have a couple more things so maybe I'll go into some more products of theirs this next product is something that I've had for a long time and I used it a little bit and then put it away you know how it is when I have so many products 
and I've been recently delving into this again and I am obsessed. I remember really liking it but thinking it was very subtle and natural. So this is the Guerlain. This is the Terracotta Four Seasons Bronzer. I love this. It's so beautiful. I know they have like five or six variations. So they do have one for deep skin tones and they have it kind of categorized as like brunette, blonde. I think this one is like called the nude. Yeah, it's called the nude one. And it has like a little bit of blush in there and then bronzer. I just love that this doesn't cling to any patches or any like pores. It just looks so flawless on the face. So I've been using this a lot when I'm sort of fair. I would say like an NC20 to an NC25. I just feel like it looks great, but I can even use it when I am an NC30 like I probably am right now. If you're looking for a really beautiful, subtle bronzer that's really going to warm up your face, it's not going to look muddy. I know I've had issues with a lot of bronzers looking muddy, and to be quite honest, I don't wear bronzers a lot because of that reason. They just look really harsh on me. So definitely, definitely recommend this one. My next favorite is something that is fairly new to me as well, but I love this product. This is the Hot Makeup USA Red Carpet Ready Foundation Powder. I was sent this from PR. I think Henry sent it, which he's so sweet. He is on Instagram and he's good at makeup and I think he somewhat owns or works very highly in Hot Makeup USA. So he sent me a care package, which I've purchased a ton of their blushes in the past and lip products, but it's really kind of weird. This is what it looks like. So it has little white specks in it. I'm not really sure what the meaning of those are, but all I know is when I put a powder on and I set my face, whether it be with a beauty blender or a brush, I just want to make sure it's not going to skip. It's not going to look muddy. It's not going to look cakey and it's not going to cling to certain patches and kind of like break up. This is so smooth. I love this. I have it on today and I used my Beauty Blender Damp and just pressed it into the skin. And I knew immediately when I tried this that I loved it. I've been using it for a couple weeks now and I really had to mention it. This is in the shade RCF10. So I'll have it linked down below for you guys. But if you're looking for a nice, this could be like a touch up powder or I think you can even use this alone. I have not used it alone so I can't speak on the coverage per se. But this is not translucent. It definitely has some pigment and some coverage. So read a little bit about it on the website if you're interested. But I wanted to mention this because I really, really think this is like one of my top favorite powders now. My next favorite is a brush that I've been using a ton to apply my foundation and my powders. And this is kind of like not new, but I've been just reaching for it a lot lately. This is the Morphe E31. It's a very big flat top kabuki brush. I think this is from the Elite Collection and I've just been using it a ton. I used it today to apply my foundation and then I set my foundation with a sponge, like I said, with that powder. I just feel like this gives me a really airbrushed like finish. It's not too dense, but it's dense enough to give you the coverage. I hate when you get a brush and it like shears out your foundation because I like a lot of coverage. So if you're looking for a full coverage brush that's going to work with powder or foundation, liquid, cream, whatever it may be, and still give you that coverage, but really smooth out and kind of airbrush over your pores, definitely recommend this E31. I don't know what it is. I've just been loving it a lot lately. This next product that I've been really loving, I feel like I have so many like face products and I don't have a ton of lip products this month, but that's just kind of how it goes. This is the Tarte Brighter Days. This is their highlighting moisturizer. I've tried this a few times now and I love this. It gives you a little bit of a glow, a sparkle, but I like, again, kind of like the Marc Jacobs one that I was talking about. It's not thick, it's very thin. So your face is moisturized, but it's not um, cakey so when you put makeup on top it just glides on effortlessly plus this gives you a little bit of a glow I think this is a really knockout product that they came out with I know this is fairly new but I did use it in a tutorial I want to say on my glam glow tutorial and I just felt like I looked so glowy and pretty so I definitely wanted to mention this because I really have found myself loving it a lot lately so this next product I actually saw Shanxo do a video on and I immediately was googling trying to find this I only sell tan. I do not um, tan outside. I would love to be tan all the time, but I'm getting older. I'm 28 and I don't want to age myself and I don't want to get skin care, cancer and all those negative things. Uh, when I was younger, my first job was actually at a tanning salon. That's bad. Uh, and I didn't realize what I was doing to my skin. So now that I'm older and educated, I don't tan. So I do use self tanners, but it's such a pain in the ass when they're hanging on. They look alligator after like seven days and you just need them off so you can do a fresh coat. And I've scrubbed my skin raw. I mean, I've literally had my husband scrubbing my skin, like helping me because I'm like, babe, like I got to get this off. 
I saw this product. It worked on her video. I was immediately like, holy shit, I need that. So I looked for it and I found it. I think it's an Australian company. And it was $60 for the, or no, $50 for the kit, which I was like, damn, that's kind of high. And the shipping was $30. And I was like, no, I'm not spending $80 to get a damn tan removing kit. So I looked on Amazon. I always look like on Amazon, eBay. I, I always do. Um, I don't know. I just love those websites. And I found it on Amazon for $29.99 with Prime Shipping. If you're a Prime member, you need to go look at it. And this is what it looks like. It's from the brand Anthei and Effortless Fake Tan Remover. It has three full body fake tan removes. But what I will say is you won't need like a full body each time because you're just kind of getting off the remnants. So I feel like you could really stretch it to six full bodies, especially for me. Uh, I only have like certain areas like my arms or like right around my neck or something like I'm not so much uh, worried about my legs in the winter time kind of thing. So how you use it is there's like a little powder mixer and there's a solution and they give you a spray bottle and you just put them in, you shake it up, spray it on your skin, let it sit for two minutes. And while it's still wet, you use a cloth they give you and you just wipe it off and it gets all of your tanner off. I, I, you, I showed you guys on Snapchat. I'm telling you, I thought, I thought I had the cloth up here, but I don't see it. It literally came off like that. I was in shock. And this is tanner that I've been on for nine days that I've been like literally exfoliating and it would not budge. So this product is amazing. $80 is insane. So I'm telling you, if I can find it on Amazon, I'll link it down below for $29.99. I'm totally down for that. Just, just not like scrubbing your skin to like death, you know, to where you're like bright red and irritated. So absolutely think this is an amazing product. I think it's going to blow up in the beauty community. Uh, she was the first person to really find it. I've, I've tried other like t tan removers and they weren't good. This is amazing. I'm telling you, you need it. So I'll link it down below, but last I checked, I think they only had like four in stock, so you might want to get on it. So the next product I want to talk about is an old product that I love. Every time I use this, I just fall in love, and I actually have it on my eyes right now. Uh, I have a tutorial on this look with a different lip coming up, but this is the Morphe 35B palette. I am just so impressed with these. They just blend so nicely. I know I recently mentioned the Urban Decay Full Spectrum being very disappointing to me, and it, it like it just wasn't good this is so much better and I find that I can really do a lot with this I can kind of go in each color family and use the mattes that's what I like about this is there's mostly mattes there is a couple shimmers but I'd like to use the mattes mostly and then I would use like a glitter or a pigment or something I have on hand to really pop on the inner corner you don't even need it but you could it's just up to you a highlighter so that's what I use today I used I think five shades and I just think it's so beautiful and it, I just every time I pull it out I feel like I just come up with a really cool tutorial that's different so I'm gonna swatch a few for you but I think this is a great price I think it's $19.99 and then I do have a 10% off code so it ends up being 18 bucks for all of this and it just they all blend nicely I just really like this I think this is something to get you out of your comfort zone because I know we're all in the neutral comfort zone. Some of my favorite looks though are really bright colors popped in um, the crease like mattes. So I just think this pulls me out of being boring and I really love it. My last favorite of the month is actually the gloss that I'm wearing right now. I am wearing Marc Jacobs. I think it's Fawn Over Me. I'll have it linked down below with this Chanel gloss on top. This is in the color 131. It's a really pretty glittery pink and I found that sometimes if I have a nude lip that's a little bit too nude and I want a little bit of shine and a, just a hint of pink to it I will add this on I just think it's really comfortable really glittery really glossy and I knew I was going to get a lot of comments probably asking me what was on my lips this is it it's so beautiful I found myself carrying it in my purse and reaching for it a lot so I definitely wanted to mention this one to you So for this month, I do have two products that I did not like that did not work out for me. The first one was kind of an interesting product, but I just felt like it was going to make me break out and the smell was really just too strong. And this is a Sephora Perfection Mist Nude Glow. So it's sort of like a mist that you're supposed to mist on your foundation when you're done. It's supposed to give you a glow. I was expecting maybe a little more pigment, maybe some like glowy shimmer in it and I really was just getting like oil when I it's like an aerosol spray and when I spray it it smells like oil like 
uh, like vegetable oil and it's very oily like I was waiting for it to kind of like you know seep into the skin because I just sprayed it a couple times and it was just sitting on my skin and I felt like I was greasy like I could have just gone like this and like pulled my foundation off I was just not impressed and it literally smelled like vegetable oil so for me it was a pass I didn't feel glowy I just felt like sticky and kind of gross so definitely was disappointed with this I, I gave it a go I tried it I didn't know much about it I've not heard anyone talking about it but I definitely would not recommend this this next product I saw Nicole Guerrero snap about Anything that says like pore filler or smoothing pores, I'm all about it. And this is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. This is uh, supposed to be, it says a multi-purpose stick, five-in-one perfecter. So I was thinking like a primer, which I think that's what Nicole was thinking as well, or like a tinted primer. Obviously it looks tinted, but I was really kind of thinking it was going to be more like the Milk Makeup Blur Stick, just a different um, brand. So I was going to think uh, maybe I would like it. To me, this was greasy, and this is the only shade. I don't know if you can see it. That's pretty dark. I mean, I feel like it's too light for, you know, deep, deep skin tones, and it's too dark for fair light. I mean, I'm medium skin tone right now, and it's just too dark. I just feel like it almost looked orange and greasy. It doesn't dry down uh, when you swatch it. It just is so greasy, and I just felt like my makeup was sort of sliding, and I didn't see any pore filling. Like, my pores didn't look any better, which was the worst of everything, because I feel like I could have layered foundation over it, but my pores still weren't, like, smooth. So I was like, what the, what's the point of this? Like, I just didn't, I thought it was a waste. It's $40. No, ma'am, we are sending it back because for $40, I want to look like JLo and that's not happening with this product so I just thought that was like disappointing and I just don't think it's universal. I think they would have done a lot better if they would have focused on uh, no pigment or just a very light tint rather than going for like a hardcore medium deep you know dark orange color. I just don't think it's universal so I don't see a lot of people getting use out of it and I don't see my pores looking any better. So I don't know. I just wasn't into it. Alright guys, so that is it for me and my January favorites and not so favorites. Hopefully I give you some recommendations of products that you could try and some to steer clear of. I will leave my Scentbird link down below again if you haven't tried it and 25% off. So definitely recommend you check them out. Let me know down below what you've been loving for the month and some products that maybe disappointed you as well. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video.